Hi, good to see you all again. Um, the reason why I'm looking like this in my thumbnail is that um, about uh, three weeks ago I um, sold my Sony equipment and I purchased second-hand uh, Leica M10 and Sumer lens. Um, it was a thought of this could be quite a good thing. I'd really enjoyed the OVF experience. I'd heard a lot of good things about the Leica rangefinder. I thought, yeah, that's where my photography's going. Um, and unfortunately, because of these, um, I know other people have glasses that have that have Leicas, and this is not me having a pop at Leica. It's me sort of saying to you that maybe you thought about likers and things like that if you're an old so and so no fault like me if you've got glasses beware um the only solution to it is the fact that if you don't wear glasses you can get an ovf lens adapter for your eyesight but that's 180 pounds if your eyesight changes as mine does every couple of years um then it's 180 pounds on top of money that I'll be spending on glasses. The only other way was to attach an EVF and you think that's great but it attaches right down the middle of the camera, it's no longer range finder and that was another £400. Um, bearing in mind this was all second hand and expensive. Um, so with great sort of um, depression I suppose thinking oh this is supposed to be the pinnacle of photography and these, these pieces of equipment are supposed to be fantastic. Um, it all went back and luckily I have to say um, I said I was devastated. Luckily I have to say that uh, London Camera Exchange and Lincoln were brilliant. Um, gave me a full refund. Obviously I had to pay for it to go back. Um, Park Cameras where I got the lens from, brilliant full refund. Obviously I had to pay for it to go back. But I have to say, fantastic. They were great, understanding and gave me full refund on those products. Which I'm pleased about because it would have added insult to injury that I would have lost money on them. or um, and, that, and, and luckily I didn't. Um, so what I've done is though, what, what I've found about the whole experience that's what I wanted to share with you is actually the equipment that we've actually got already that maybe isn't as expensive as a Leica is actually a lot lot better than maybe we think and is Leica really something that we say well that's obviously the best. The lenses yes they're very very good but lenses come in different qualities and I have to say I think if you're looking at lenses Canon um, Fuji, Nikon, um, you know, the three that just come to mind, Sony to some extent, all come to mind that they all make very, very good lenses. Now, what you're paying for, like, obviously, is the size of the lens, but then Fuji are really small as well. Um, and when you, when I looked at the JPEGs, when I looked at the RAW, um, I don't think there was enough to justify in one circumstance with one of the cameras I used um, probably nearly six times the price um, and that's the thing and then people say with like oh yeah but you get your money back but yeah but I get what I've bought and sold cameras for years I don't lose a lot of money because of how I do it um, so I, I don't quite take that argument so much um, was it a great experience for me? No, because I wear glasses and um, it didn't have a dioptrix, which most of my cameras do, so I can actually just adapt it and it's fine. Um, I can put my eyes to it, adapt it, I can take away my glasses, um, and I really feel part of that experience, but I didn't with this. So for me, like is finished for me. For other people, if it's still that camera that you want, hey, why not? But be aware. Um, don't expect it to be this wonderful difference um, because it's not. At the end of the day, if you're buying a digital, and I emphasize a digital Leica, you are buying a digital camera and it has a sensor. The sensor, I'm not sure who makes it, and not many people do, but it's suspected that certainly at some points it's been more sensors that you're used to seeing in other cameras, but who knows? Um, I, I don't know for certain, it's just what you hear. Um, it does the same things, raw is raw. Yes, there'll be some differences in slight colour with different manufacturers, but generally speaking, raw is raw. Um, and there's not a great deal of difference. There are plenty of YouTube sort of clips out there uh, that will show you that. Uh, some very good um, 
YouTube videos that actually do show you that and there's little difference. You've got to buy into what you feel comfortable with. Um, and that brings me basically to sort of the idea of why I sold my Sony and I think this brings me to a very relevant point. Um, I sold my Sony because it was a 42 megapixel um, sensor on a full frame sensor and 42 megapixels is a lot and what I discovered was certainly with the A7R2 there was a lot of noise and I think with this great movement forward for everybody to have um, this high resolution and it's got to be 50 megapixels and so forth be careful um, I've been out this morning early this morning with my new camera um, I needed a, a, a new one for, mostly for my work here um, for if I do want to do landscapes which I thought maybe I was finished with and I'm not I still do like my landscapes I was out this morning doing some landscape work um, Jeez, cut one off. I don't know if you can see that. That was from this morning. Um, beautiful sunset. You wouldn't think it now. It's pouring outside, but never mind. Um, what I've discovered is I've now gone backwards towards a sensor. In fact, this is an older sensor in a more modern camera. Um, some of you are going to say, well, what is it? Um, it's the EOS O. E O S R from Canon, where people are much more minded. Oh, it's not this, not that, and but now people are recognising as good value for money camera, and especially now when you're second hand, the price is very, very reasonable. The lens is pretty good as well, and what I've discovered is, I've got my photography back to a point where actually I look at a picture and a photograph like that. The clarity in that, the the lack of noise in it, and it's just a, a great feel and look of a photograph. That's the big difference. And I find these high resolution. My Sony, I would take shots, and I can still look. I've got one or two around, and look at it. And I think it's good, but I've the, the, there is detail there, but there's a lot of noise involved in it. I was watching something recently, and it was. And that probably get this name wrong, but it's Evan Ramft, or Ramft, fantastic YouTuber, fantastic photographer, and he bought himself a, a Leica SL2. I think the body only was nearly six thousand dollars or something. I think he was saying, and then obviously the lens is on top. And even he admitted, and I, this is why I admire him for it. He said, "There's noise." He's, he's shooting with a 50 megapixel camera and he says there is noise, he said he was expecting it and there is noise there, you just have to work with that. It's fine for him he says because he's just fine art and the work is tremendous. And I think that's what we have to be very careful of. As amateurs we can get wrapped up in something. I got wrapped up in the Leica, realised mm, it's not for me, it's not going to work, the Fuji 100X. X100V has been superb, it's been a fantastic camera for me, it still is. And I'm not going to change from that uh, for the work I wanted to do. Um, the Canon here so far, uh, I've used it several times, video and for, um, for um, basically this morning was really the first big test of it, low light photography. It was great. Um, and I think the thing is, don't get so wrapped up in megapixels. Um, we, we, we try not to, but I suppose we do a little bit. We think, oh no, it'll give us this, it'll give us that. Um, this is a 30 megapixel um, full frame. Uh, so therefore the pixels are bigger, using, I think, better with light, dynamic range, things like that. And what I've discovered is it does give you a better picture than a high resolution. The high resolution give you detail and you go, wow, but be aware there's a trade-off. Even recent um, YouTube sort of reviews of things, the new Hasselblad 50 megapixel, I looked at that, it was noisy. Somebody even tried the GFX, the brand new GFX 100 megapixel camera, and they were saying they were having trouble trying to get it just right and focusing because there was noise with it. So um, I think we, I think this is partly what I wanted to share with you is the fact that really be very careful. I've gone back, although I haven't, I've gone mirrorless DSLR. Um, the sensor is actually the same sensor as the Canon 5D Mark IV. 
um, it's got image stabilization in the lens and to be perfectly honest I'm not going to be running around with it very much um, if I'm going to do that I've got my X100V or my GR3 that's for that type of work for this type of work this is what I use this for um, and it does it very well and I think that that is what we have to bear in mind does it fit what we want um, if I'd followed all the reviews maybe from a couple of years ago this camera shouldn't be even be thought of it's a disappointment it's it's not what people were expecting but now people are saying actually think we misjudged this camera it's actually a very good camera and I can say and I will do a review on this camera for you I can honestly say that I listened to the, the views I took them on board, drove me mad for a week. I was going, well, yes, no, no. I was going for the Sony. I was I was going to go back to Sony. I was thinking, I don't want to go back to Sony. For me, Sony, it's a fantastic camera system. But what I learned about Sony was that if you buy a Sony camera, put a G or a GM lens on it. If you look at the photographers that you see shooting with that, they tend to have a lot of money invested in their glass. Um, that's why I've come to Canon because Canon really sh usually straight out of the box as long as you stick to obviously the RF lens I've got here or the EF lenses which this camera can take with an adapter and it works flawlessly um, supposedly I'll let you know about that one as well um, I've got a massive range of fantastic lenses Canon's a, a, a make I'm very used to and that's why I'm happy to go back to it. And so far, I have to say, I don't regret my decision. Um, my, my bank balance doesn't regret my decision because this, compared to, say, the Leica, well, is a lot, lot cheaper. And there's more versatility to, versatility to it. Um, I know I'm rambling. It's more like a vlogging style sort of uh, thing that I thought I would do. Just as an update, um, you know, we all make mistakes. Um, it was supposed to be my big camera um, and unfortunately it didn't turn out quite that way. What I'm going to do now is um, I've got four images um, and the four images I took over several days, uh, different cameras obviously. Um, there was obviously some different settings but what I wanted to show and hopefully some people out there will say I know which is the Leica, I know which is the Fuji, I know which is the GR and I know which is the Canon. And that's fine. Um, what I wanted to show more than anything else is it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you're um, doing things in Lightroom, if you're doing things in Photoshop, Luminar, whatever it is, you're changing it and making it your own. Even people with Leica use um, editing suites to change. It doesn't come out the Leica looking like that. Um, that's something else I discovered, there's one particular um, person who's big Leica person and then said, oh, and I can sell you the presets to basically make it look like a Leica. And that's fine, That there is a Leica-ish look to it, but it's nothing that you're going to say, that's definitely, well, maybe you do. That's your decision. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the four images, see what you think. Um, and what I'll do is... Um, I will put the answers on the discussion that goes with this video. Okay, so the answers are there. Um, I'm going to leave you with that, leave you with my disastrous news. Um, but in some respects, I learned a lot of lessons. At least it didn't cost me a lot. That's the thing. Um, and I'm trying to sort of say the same to yourselves is... Sometimes they say, don't ever go meet your heroes because you might just regret it. Well, Malika was part of one of that. Maybe I got drawn up in the romanticism of it. Um, whatever it was, um, learned a lot, want to pass that on to yourselves. I'm sure you'll have your opinions and you can argue against it. That's fine. Great. That's what I want discussion because that's one of the one of the things I want to end it with. I just want to say thank you so much to everybody that I've talked to. It's been great I've talking to people from um, all around the world, Japan, um, I think China, I think we've had um, Germany, obviously the UK, and I've loved it. It's been great. Please keep the discussions going. Um, such kind comments. Um, one or two criticisms, that's fine. That's what, what goes around, I suppose. 
um, thanks for the tip, I can't remember who it was, wish I could, who said about the peak design definitely worth, worth getting. Yep, I've changed. Anybody, that person that was saying change, I have my X100V now has peak design on it and it's so much easier. So I've done that. Um, so all I want to say really is uh, from a very rainy UK, um, you know, take care. Um, it, you know, there's more videos coming. I've filmed the one from this morning. I've got another one that's again two cameras, two different locations. Um, hopefully, you like that one. Um, the results I've got from a GR3 keeps on surprising me. Um, I thought the shoot was going badly, and I think mm, this isn't going to be very good. And then suddenly, there it was in front of me. I took the shot, and I think it came out okay. So, we'll see what you think of that. Um, but please do take care. Um, hopefully over the next few months and into next year this will all pass us by. Um, I'm going to keep going with this despite or <laughs> hopefully you like it but if you know that's what it's all about. Um, it's about for me it's about photography but it's about caring for each other and let's, let's just stick with that together. Um, and as I said it's been great so far and there's more to come. And I'm going to keep going over the winter, and the winter's getting quite bad here, cold and wet. But we'll keep, I'll keep going, and uh, take care. You know, really do take care. See you.